If you want to talk about the iconic kitchen appliances, the KitchenAid stand mixer is definitely at the top of that list. One of the things though that frustrates cooks about these planetary mixers is sometimes when you're mixing ingredients, they get stuck on, stuck on the side of the bowl and they don't really incorporate it that well. So you have to constantly scrape it down. So several years ago, Beater Blade came out with a solution for that. This is the classic Beater Blade and it has two, um, flexible swipers here that minimize the sticking on the side of the bowl. It basically scrapes it, right? So this is a classic beater blade. Well, recently beater blade has come out with an upgraded model. And we have that here in the Amy Learns to Cook kitchen. So we have the beater blade. This one is all metal. The previous one was plastic. This one was metal. So this fits the, uh, bowl lift, six, seven, and eight quart mixer. This one fits the five quart tilt head, so like the artisan. So we're gonna try these out. We previously tried this, and now we're gonna try the metal version. So what's up, it's Wednesday. Let's have a little fun with the KitchenAid mixer and try out the new beater blade. So cooks, it's Wednesday, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank Beater Blade for sending these and allowing us to try them out. We tried out these uh, are classic ones. I'll put a link up here and in the description when we tried these ones out. I like them. They're great. But they do have this new model. This is the metal version of the beater blade. So before I said this was for the artists and this one's actually for the five quart bowl lift. So this would be like for the Pro 500 mixer. This one here is for six, seven, and eight quart bowl lift mixers. So this is going to fit on your Pro 600, your Pro Line 7, and the commercial eight, right? So we're going to try this baby out. So um, one of the great things about, you know, the metal is the strength. So I'm looking forward. Wow. This baby, this baby is pretty serious. Wow. It's, it's got a lot of weight to it. And look at that. That is sweet, right? <laughs> that is sweet. I really like it already. So um, we're going to see. Whoa, okay. This is our, this is the one for the five quart bowl lift. Wow. There ain't no joke with that. These are serious. These are a major, uh, these are great, but these, yeah. So let me wash these and we're going to make some cookies to see how these work on this Pro 600. Okay, I put the beater blade on the bowl and we have two sticks of butter. We're making some classic chocolate chip cookies. So we have two sticks of butter, three quarters of a cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. This is the recipe you can find on the back of the chocolate chip package. Yellow. We're just using this to see how this works. So let's go. Woo. Woo. Holy cow, this scraper. <laughs> badge uh, beaters is since there's so little bowl clearance on there, sometimes it's a little bit of tight fit getting it in and out of there. But as we see, this bad boy scrapes like no other, right? Look at that. Wow. Yeah, the size of those 
The sides of that bowl are completely clean. Wow, that is amazing. Look at how fluffy that is. Look at how fluffy that is. You can definitely cream way faster. Sometimes I'll let creaming go like three, four, five minutes. Look at that. That is beautiful and fluffy in just seconds, really. Let's put some eggs. We will put these eggs one at a time. Wow. Put in some vanilla. That's bowl scraping right there. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the sides of the bowl. That's amazing. So we got our dry ingredients, the flour, the baking soda, and the salt. And we're gonna add this to the mixer. Wow. Really nice. I'm going to drop this down to a stir and we're going to put our tacos in here. Okay, that's amazing. So this metal beater blade is fantastic. It scraped that bowl left and right, every which direction. There was nothing on the side of the bowl. There's nothing unmixed on the bottom. This beater blade is Powerful. amazing, yes. The only thing is when you get something that has such a short clearance to the side of the bowl, it's a little, a little more tight fit getting it in there initially. And it did bounce, bounce the bowl around a little bit more than the regular beater. The other, the regular beater will only come in like here, right? This thing is all the way up to the edge of the bowl. So you're going to get a little bit more bouncing of the bowl just because it's hitting the side of the bowl all the way around there. But wow, this thing was amazing. So thank you, Beater Blade, for sending this. I really appreciate it. Links will be down in the description. You will see me use the Beater Blade more often, and you will be seeing Eric eating these chocolate chip cookies, right? Have a great Wednesday. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe below and hit that bell so you get notified of our uploads. And um, catch me on social media and in the Facebook group facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. Everywhere else on social media, I'm pretty much at Amy Learns to Cook. Happy Wednesday.